Hi guys, this is Larry. I'm doing a review today on the Irulu GM60 Mini LED Projector. Uh, I received this unit from Irulu as a review item and I'm just going to go through this uh, unboxing here so you can see what's in the box. So here's the outside of the box. All the way around, let's open it up and take a look and see what's inside. As we open up the top, I can see the packaging. I really like this foam packaging. It's more like the rubberized star foam, but it's a good packaging. It's nice and thick. It's better if I just flip this over. There we go. Pretty good. Nice packaging. Make sure that it's not going to get damaged in shipping for sure. Take this and put it out of the way. Let's dig into this a little bit more by taking out the projector. Again, I really like the packaging. It's nice and sturdy. It's going to have plenty of protection while it's in shipping. So we have the user manual and then the remote. And of course the moisture packet there, the triangle moisture packet. Now we have the power cord. Here's the AV composite cable. There's a little screw for the front to prop up the projector. Stick that right there. Take a look at the projector now. Take it out of its plastic pack packaging here. I like the way the textured plastic is on the projector. Here we go. As I pick up the projector, I notice how rigid the plastic is. It's not creaking or anything like that. Here's the inputs. Then of course you have your VGA input and your infrared. Here's your power and then you have your tilt and focus for the projector. Here's the bottom. You can see the mount for the camera and the screw in for the tilt if you want to put it on a tabletop. Of course the control buttons for the top of the projector. The screw cap, the protective lens. The projector itself weighs about three pounds. It's not as light as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be heavier, but it's still, it still feels really good to the touch. The lens cap doesn't seem to lock in place, but it does stay in place once you put it there. Again, I still like the textured outside. It does feel good. It's not going to slip out of your hand. The outside is kind of stylish with the raised top like that. Of course, the vents for the heat the exhaust there. Again, you have the inputs, the AV head so headphones, USB, and HDMI. Take a really quick look at the remote. Take it out of its packaging. I didn't notice that there was any batteries included with the remote. Let's just take a look if there's anything inside. Buttons feel pretty good. Are there batteries? Nope. No batteries. Okay, well, gotta get batteries. They take it takes uh, AAA, so we'll get some of those. There we go. We have the component, AV input, and your power cable. So that's all there is. Okay, thanks guys. Talk to you later.